Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Toby and in today's video I'm going to be doing, or I'm going to be showing you how I did this look as well as my first impressions on the Chi Chi Fashionista eyeshadow palette. I will get into what the palette looks like and what I think about the packaging and stuff all in a moment. But yeah, I just wanted to do more affordable looks. I keep seeing these um, palettes everywhere and I really wanted to try it. Chi Chi is one of my favourite brands so I thought I would give it a go and I'm really really happy with how it turned out and I can't wait for you guys to see how I did this and what I thought about it. So yeah, so if you want to know what I thought and more about this palette then please keep watching. Okay, so this is the palette right here. It was originally $25 and it came down to $17.50 I believe. If you are in Australia or New Zealand and they sell the, these at your Target, they are 30% off until Wednesday. So they are gonna be $17.50 instead of $25. So there is actually a lot of different ones. Um, there's a lot of different eyeshadow collection. This is the Fashionista eyeshadow collection. I love, love, love this packaging. And however, I was really disappointed when I opened it up. Um, to see the packaging inside in a little plastic case and then you take it out again and it is in just a little plastic container. I thought they could have done like a cute little border, maybe a mirror here and it would have looked less cheap and honestly it looks so cheap which is so annoying because it looks, this part looks stunning. It also comes with this little um, double ended brush but I don't know how helpful that brush is going to be. But as I was saying it came with this little jewel ended brush. Um, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be maybe a blending side but this is so, it honestly looks like a craft brush like for paintings. But maybe this flat side might, I don't know, I'll try and use it and see how it goes. Overall, I'm kind of, no, I am really disappointed with the packaging. I love, love, love the bottom half of it. I feel like they could just could have, like, just done something with that. Like, it would have looked 10,000 times better. Because I've never used this before, I am just going to apply some tape down. Um, I just find that it's the easiest way to get the best out of any palette, in my opinion. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off as using the shade down here as my transition. I was gonna go for something a little lighter, but I thought I would just dive right into it. So far, so good. There's very, very, very minimal fallout, so that's good. None on the pan and none on my eyes so far. Next shade I'm going to go in with is this burnt orange that's right in the middle. I think I'm pointing to it, yeah. Right in the middle there. I just think that's a really nice color, so I'm just going to go ahead and deepen the crease using that orange. That definitely did not lack pigment. It's pretty good. I'm gonna take that original brush we used for the transition just to blend out those edges. We're just looking a bit too harsh for my liking. I actually don't know how deep this will be but I am going to take this on the outer part of my my outer corner <laughs> um, and use this it is like an orange a very very burnt orange but it is a bit darker so I am gonna try it so we'll see how that goes oh no this is so pigmented whoa I'm gonna build that up a little bit because I just love that color. It's so nice. So now I'm gonna take this darker brown down here and pop that on my outer corner just to define it a little bit more. This is a very ashy color, so I'm hoping it will deepen it enough. 
Mm, not a lot actually. I feel like it was subtle enough to make a point though. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this shade down here. Um, there are two, actually there's like three gold shades, but this one just looks a bit more pearl. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that using this a flat brush that it came with. And I'm gonna see how this one works. A lot of fallout came off the pan just then from that. Oh my god, that is so pigmented. Wow. Did I take back what I said about the brush? It does work. I actually carried a lot of pigment on it, this brush. I'm very shocked. I'm just trying to like flick it down to fade it out a little bit. Oh my god, I like the way, I like that. Now I'm just going to go back in with that um, orange shade and just kind of put where, put where, just kind of make it so it kind of fades into it. So just kind of tidying it up a little bit around the edge of the gold. And I'm just going to pop some liquid eyeliner on. Then I'm just going to go ahead and pop some falsies on. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and do the underneath. I'm going to go back in with that middle orange shade right there and just pop it all the way under. Then I'm going to go in with this one. The other orange shade and pop that just on the outer corner of it to try and mimic the top. Then I'm just going to blend that all together. And that is it for this look. I really like how it turned out. I think this palette is absolutely worth the money, even though it didn't really cost that much. Um, besides the packaging, it is amazing. The pigment is just something I would expect from a really high-end brand. So, yeah, I'm really, really genuinely impressed. If you can get your hands on this palette, I would. It is so good. All the pigment, they were really nice and buttery, they went on well, they were pigmented, and the shimmers were so good. I think this is definitely a must-have palette because I just think those colours look so good. Um, these are so popular right now, so... Yeah, I would get my hands on this if you can. So that is it for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you wanted to see me test out any other eyeshadows or anything else from Chi Chi, then let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.